Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next legacy review. Today, we, as you can see, we are finally getting to the last part of Menasaur Motormaster. Um, before I get really started on this, I have had this for a while. However, I've been waiting to get the smaller ones done. His, his limbs or parts of his limbs will say before getting to him um also i am going to be splitting this up into two different videos this one that i i'm just going to be doing the meat and potatoes of motormaster his vehicle mode as you see his robot mode and the base mode that the trailer can do the next video will be motormaster the transformations bringing them together and all that and the reason i'm doing that is because i feel it would just be way too long of a video i try not to be too big on my videos sometimes it can't be helped with certain figures but i just wanted to keep it down to a spec to uh or keep it shorter than it could be so with that out of the way let us get a look at Motormaster, and as usual, we will start with the packaging. Oh, and this packaging has been sitting for a while, so there's a bit of dust on it. But here we have our packaging, and wonderful, wonderful image of Motormaster. Looks good. Um, I do have the DNA design upgrade kit on pre order, so I absolutely can't wait for that. It's going to just make the trailer you know more complete it's going to be a bit longer out for the trailers so much stuff that's properly done better sword something else you can do for the cannon but as for the packaging still so we can see commander class different languages there we can see drag strip i think that's wild rider yes i believe that one's wild rider uh here we've got breakdown i do not see dead end where is dead end hmm dead end appears to be missing from the packaging oh wait no there he is really hard to see but there he is man he really blends in with that reddish color <laughs> but transformers legacy transformers generations Tomy, hasbro on the top there he is in his vehicle mode Transformers Legacy on the bottom. All diff uh, barcode, different wording, stuff like that. On, on this side, we have image of Motormaster without the others hooked up to him. So, yeah, there is that. And you can see the Nemesis right there. And I'm I need to learn Cybertron Cybertronian like cuz I'm wondering what that says. If anybody that sees this video can read the Cybertronian language, let me know what that says. I would love to know. I I don't know any of that. And on this side, our typical Decepticon artwork for Legacy. And on the back, we have our product shots. He is part 5 of 5 for Menasaur. There you can see he's showing part one of five, drag strip, and wild rider, part two of five. And this was before we had um, dead end and breakdown available, um, really being shown too much. But there it shows the cab, there it shows his robot mode, there is the base mode, and of course his vehicle mode. And warning. Don't put anything into your mouth. Not good. Different other wordings and stuff. And yeah, it just shows. Sold separately. You cannot get these in a big package. Would be cool, but kind of pricey. Especially consider that each deluxe is like getting to be almost 30 bucks each. And then uh, commanders are like around 90 we're getting close to 90 but there's the packaging and here we'll bring in Motomasta and let's see 
here he is in all his glory and he looks good i love it now the issue i have is the issue that most people have as you can see Metasaur's chest and the upper parts of his legs sticking out shouldn't need to get the dna designs to fill that out but it is what it is i mean they did everything they could to do it to give us you know a tune accurate menasaur and i am grateful for that i absolutely do love this figure still downsides that could have been done. like one downside that i have as well as many others is the issue with these wheels you know they it's just too soft of a plastic in my personal opinion luckily mine are not like all bent out of shape like others but they just they pop out so easily i mean it's it's just a tiny tab there is a um on tf safari there is like a, a small kit that is available there that like it kind of plugs into the holes the screw holes and it's a little hook that hooks in and helps hold the wheels in and they got two versions they got a solid version that you would have to remove each time you transform it or they got one that like would you pop it up a little bit and it flips down kind of transforms with it so there is that but <clears throat> just plug it into his trailer and yeah, he he rolls as he should. He can turn. So very cool. Still not bad at all. Um kinda wish like um would have done like paint for this to match the rest of it. But yeah, got our Decepticon symbols on the side of the trailer, on the side of the truck. Got all that purple, just looks so good. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Got this gunmetal gray for the grill, which looks really good. Let's separate so we can look at the cab. And of course, you can get in here, and if it'll come down for me. <laughs> come on. Come on. Now it's not wanting to come down for me. <laughs> one second okay so yeah bring these down and then you got your your um stands your um i forget what they're called on a trailer god i used to work in a place where we had trailers coming in and out so i should know what they are but let's take a look at the cab so this is not the standard cab over engine like um optimus is this is, it is a cab over engine however it is a cab over engine with a sleeper so it's got that little bit more to it so and these represent like like kind of skylights that um in a truck you could kind of close up so you could get much rest but it is it's a cab over engine with a sleeper so very cool i absolutely love it absolutely love it you can see the silver for the rims very cool there's the back you can see the chest of motormaster there's the bottom looks very nice oh, the front again that um sort of gunmetal gray looks really good would have been nice having the lights picked out with some paint tail lights and everything would have been really nice on that but it's all right can't have everything there you can kind of see his head. I, th I think I should have turned it. You can, you can like when you're transforming it, you could have it spun so it's not facing. But I mean, most of the time you're not really seeing it. And, but he rolls again very nicely. You can want to be dangerous. <laughs> Still very cool. And then with the trailer, you know nice lining on the side again silver on the rims wheels turn very nicely some gunmetal gray here you know, big old decepticon symbol there for the menasaur chest so yeah 
again, not overly bad. Still had, could have used some improvement. But, yeah. So, that is going to be it for the vehicle. So, let's get into transformation. We'll start with his robot mode, and then we'll move on to the trailer into its um, sort of base mode, I think it's called. Something like that. First thing we're going to do... Uh, these tap in very nicely, but... No, oh, no, I don't think we want to do that yet. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push these wheels in, and then I'm going to untab these and swing them out, swing them out. This one's kind of loose on this side for me. And then what we want to do, we want to get in here. And come on. Untab this. We can swing it around. Tab it in there. Same thing with this side. Bring it around. Untab it there. Then untab it from the sides. Then we can swing all this up and around. Ooh, that's that was a bit tight. Now with that done, can untab. Holy jeez, those are in very nicely. Untab the arms. Bring the arms down like this. Push them in until they click in. Same thing on this side. Push it in until it clicks in. And we want to bring this around. And this is going to tab in right there. Now we'll finish off the legs. So I'll separate them. Then bring these forward. Want to rotate it around. Oops. So. These are going to be like this, so we want to bring them out like this, rotate it around, bring it back. Now, I want to bring these in, let me raise you up a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. Fold it in there, then this one, I'm going to bring this in, fold it around this side, and this, this tab is going to go in this slot right here can see that I hope you can there pretty much that one done yeah, you want to make sure that that's up all the way same thing on this side make sure that's up all the way Again, rotate here rotate it around like that make sure this is folded in I'm gonna fold this in here Fold it in here. Fold this till tabs in. And the final bit to do is we're gonna open up these panels, flip out the hands. And, uh, hopefully your hands aren't as loose as mine apparently are in there, but there's one hand done. Same thing here, flip it around. And there we go. And there we have Motormaster, his robot mode. And he looks good. I like him. I like him. So let's take a look at his head. Again, very, very nice head. Love that purple. Looks really good. Got a little bit of gunmetal gray on the side here compared to the black. It's really hard to tell, but it's there. The white arms, that purple on the chest, Septicon symbol there, the white hands. I do wish his hands here opened, but they don't. Got more of that gunmetal gray going around. Purple here. Now you got like these. I love I like how they did this. So you're not taking like a large cab and trying to smush it down. You get like that cartoon accurate look and it just it works so well in my personal opinion 
And you even got like the little wheels here. So I, I think that works. I think it looks very good. Articulation for him, the head just rotates. There isn't any up and down, no wiggle, just rotates. Arm comes out that far, can rotate all the way around. Over the backpack sort of gets in the way. We have bicep swivel. Mm, just slightly under 90 for the elbow. And we do get wrist rotation, so that's nice to see. This is, I want to make sure that I may need to take, yeah, take some stuff and like tighten those up a bit. We have waist, legs kick forward that far, kick back that far, over the full Van Dam. We have thigh. We have 90 for the elbow. Of course, if you untab it, you can get more. So that is up to you. We have this much for an ankle pivot. So, so not bad. Not bad at all. So there is Motormaster in his robot mode. And now we will get the trailer into its base mode. My legs here, yeah, these are a little, a little wobbly. It's, I think a lot of people have that issue. I mean, it's not as bad as it could be, but we're gonna move him out of the way. We'll bring in the trailer. And now it's gonna take me a bit to remember this. I, I haven't done this very often. So I don't fully remember what it is I need to do here. Uh -huh. But I do know what we're going to do first. We're going to fold that up. We're going to separate it. The sword comes out. So he does have his sword. And I can put it in his hand. And this fits better for Motormaster than it does for um, Menasaur. The sword is just way too small for Menasaur, but there he is for a sword. It is somewhat big, but I think it still fits. So we'll give him the sword. You can see how that looks. So we've got this piece, and we're going to hold off on that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to separate these bits and set that off to the side. Now we want to separate these. Here is this piece. And fold out this gun, which could have been done so much better, in my personal opinion. But what can we do? All right. Set that off to the side. Now, bring this up. Sort of like this. And then, bring this all up. Set this off to the side for now. And then this, we're going to fold all of this out and fold it down in the middle here until it's like this and then the gun here is going to go on top here just like this and so the yeah this this is going to take me a bit to fully remember. I've only done this once and it's been a while. <laughs> but we want this. So bring these down like this. And I think what we're going to do here is rotate this around. I think this... Yes, so these tabs right here plug in right under there. So make sure we get it all lined up. Come on, there we go. So there's those bits, kind of. Make sure it's where it needs to be. Okay, what am I, what's going on here? There we go. Make sure that's up. So 
So there's that bit. I think these we want to fold down. No. Okay, so now we need these pieces and these. What are these gonna do? Yeah, it's it's a difficult one for me to remember all this. So I think these okay. I think I understand how these are gonna go. So we want them like this. And these how do these go? How do these go? Okay, so we're gonna plug into the tabs underneath here. And these might at least that's what it looks like. Rotated like this, and then this, yeah, this is gonna go right here like this. So there's that one, and then we can bring this down like that. And this one, we want it to tab in like this, and then we can, as you can see what I'm doing, bring this down. So there's that. Almost done. Now, with these, we're gonna bring these out like this. And one, this one, which one? I'm trying to remember which one, which one. I think, okay, I think this one goes here. This, so it plugs in, you can see right there, plugs in like that. And then this one, it this one plugs in like that and there we go so there's the base mode all done and it's okay it's not bad and you can so bring it all around to this side so I can show you but you can so these are like this you can bring these out and what you can do take this out as you can kind of bring it bring it all in yeah you can have him up here sort of like some way here <laughs> it's it's not the easiest to do but we can whoops so yeah bring them out all the way actually then we can bring this up so I'll sort of plug one hand in, plug another hand in, and we can bring him all around. And there we go. And there's Motor Master. On there. And of course, can take the sword and plug it somewhere. There you got sort of here or these possibly you look for uh, like some tab space to just plug it in yeah but that's pretty much it on that you see how he's kind of standing here like this it is kind of weird you can also bring that up if you want I mean, completely up to you so you could have that up or you can just keep it down it's up to you however you want to do for your toy i'm sure most or quite a few who see this video probably already have this guy. But yeah, it's it's not a horrible base mode. I don't think it's bad at all. Um I mean they did they did a pretty decent job for for with the parts. So very cool on that. So yeah. So there's Motormaster in his glory shooting Autobots down with his uh, base mode. And next uh, video, we'll get to Menasaur. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I wanna say thank you for watching. 
Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.